The thing that has worked for me is to remember the hard times. Well, what that did, it crushed me, it crushed my dreams. I had a piss poor senior year, zero production, no NFL, no combine invite, nothing. Finally went to the CFL, Calgary Stampeders, making $250 a week Canadian. Canadian, I had to send that home to my, uh, to my wife at that time. I had no money. So I remember that. When I got cut from Canada. Uh, my dad, in his pickup truck, came down four o'clock in the morning, picked me up at, in, in Miami from Tampa. We lived in a little apartment in Tampa. He drove down in his little pickup truck to, to, to Miami to get me when I was cut from the CFL. And I thought, well, the, I, I leave home like you guys left home. I'm ready to tackle the world, get after it, achieve my dreams and goals. Crushed by 22, 23 years old. I'm, now I gotta move back in with my mom and dad. I played on great teams though. Wait a second, this is not supposed to be my future. I'm supposed to be in the NFL right now. I'm supposed to be making a lot of coin and buying my parents buying me taking care of my wife, but it never happened. So I pulled out my wallet. I thought, well, let me see how much money I have. I opened it up. I had a five, a one, and change. And, well, at least I rounded up to seven bucks. But I thought, God, ain't this a bitch? I got seven bucks in my pocket. Where the f do I go now? What do I do? I can't go back to the CFL. At some point, you gotta be tired of not being number one. You have to be, and you gotta f play angry. And I play angry. Now, I'm cool and calm with my approach. And when I step out on my field, which is a set, or, you know, like, there's some, and you're always gonna have haters, and haters are like, well, God damn, man, how many movies are you gonna make, or how much shit are you gonna do? Like, you do a lot of shit. I say, yes, it's my ambition. Of course, why not? I could do it. Yeah, I love what I do. And not only that, but in what world do we not work every day? You guys have to commit. Obviously, you commit to something, commit to the goal. So I quietly retired. Two years later, I thought, what did I do with my career? Because my movies were not doing well. I was written off. I was like, it was around 2006, 2007. I was like, I left, I pulled a Jim Brown. I left when I was on top, like number one in the wrestling business and I left. It was a ballsy, gutsy, some call it stupid move, but I had to commit and I had to follow what was in my gut. What helps me is to keep the hard times in the front of my mind because it allows me to go into these big moments that I've worked my ass off and you guys have worked your ass off. It allows me to go into these big moments with a different perspective. What it also does for me, and again, this, just, this is what works for me. It doesn't mean you don't smile. It doesn't mean you don't laugh and joke quote, right? Happy. I'm happy. I'm a happy guy. But when it comes to business, and when it comes to executing, it's up against this. And I got to go that way. The key for me was, where does it start? What's the anchor? What's the anchor? So I could have all these ambitions and you guys have all these ambitions, which is great. The key with me is just always finding what the anchor is. And the anchor is getting up at four o'clock in the morning every day before anybody else and grounding my thought process is in the no one will outwork me. No one. I love and I respect you guys. As you guys know, there's nothing you can't accomplish. You're gonna go on, you're gonna become world champions. The key for me, what well, I think one of the keys is Remember where you came from, keep that in the front of your mind, and when it goes bad and it goes sideways, a lot of does, you're getting booed out of the building, or you're coming through this injury, or people are writing you off, oh, you guys ain't you know, any of that, you gotta, you gotta keep it in here. And it really has to, it should drive you, it should, it works for me, it should drive you. You got all the talent in the world, it's all here. Really the two things I wanna say are, you gotta be the hardest workers in the room. And don't f the opportunity out. Instead of telling you what I think you should be doing, or what, how you could be better, or I thought, well, let me just speak from the heart, speak from my gut, and really not have anything prepared, but just tell you what's worked for me. And maybe some of the stuff that's worked for me might work for you now, currently, presently, as you guys have your goals and ambitions, but then, further on down the line as you guys continue to live your life. 
this idea and this notion that you can be anything you want, you can accomplish anything you want, right? We hear that. You've heard that from the time you were little boys. You hear that now. You're already incredibly accomplished. You guys know that.